Hey, my name is David. I'm with the North American Marketing Manager for Marzocchi. Uh, here with the new 350CR. It's a, technically a 2015 product, but we're bringing it out in the next two weeks for the 650 wheel size. Four pounds, molybdenum coating, so it's nice and slick. We have a low speed compression setting, rebound setting, total air, taper steer tube only, QR15 axle. New redesigned arch and lower system, so it's laterally stiff. Uh, six, six inch rotor bolt mount direct and NOK seals. So, excellent package to get your enduro on. Hey guys, I'm Mark Jordan with Fox, and we're here to check out the new 36 fork. Um, there's a, it's basically a whole new chassis, so we dropped about a half pound off it and it has a lot of new features. Um, a completely new air spring, which I'll show you in a minute, um, and a revised RC2 damper with high and low speed compression damping. Um, it's available in all wheel sizes, um, float and talus models, um, and we actually have an inch and an eight steer tube option for the 26 inch wheels. The 36 also has the option to run a 20 mil axle here, or we have a 15 millimeter axle set up here with these uh, adapters. Um, so basically, this fork is made to fit about every wheel size, um, every hub configuration, and pretty match up with about every type of all mountain bike out there. So this is the new float air spring that's in the 36. It actually runs a positive and negative air chamber that's when you inflate at the top, it comes down and charges both chambers. So no matter what air pressure you're at, it automatically equalizes them. Um, so this would sit in this leg right here like this. Um, and then we have these uh, air volume spacers to help you change the character of the air spring. By adding or subtracting um, these spacers, you can make it a more progressive or less progressive air spring. And it's just as easy as removing this O-ring and changing the spacer out. Hello everyone, my name is Dan Dacko. I'm the uh, marketing guy for SRO Center in North America. And uh, we're here to talk about uh, some of our new product that we have out. Um, the Oron, as you guys have probably seen out there, we've seen some uh, reviews floating around. It's a pretty solid fork. Um, sort of culminates everything that we've gone through in our years, our cartridge-based systems. Uh, we've been doing them longer than anybody else. So the Oron, which we've had out for a year now, it's uh, our new 27 and a half inch platform, 140 to 160 mil travel. This one is an RC2, which is low speed and high speed, uh, rebound, air spring fork, coil negative. 34 mil platform. The, the killer thing about this one is it's a 700 retail fork. And for what we're do, introducing this year is basically the little brother, which is the Ion. And what makes this even better is you'll get the majority of performance out of this fork that you would from the Oron, but now we're at a 550 US retail. 34 mil platform, same lower. It's just a few less adjustments, different crown, so it's about 200 grams heavier, but all the performance that you get in that. Uh, so we're just bringing down the scale and doing what we do best, uh, bringing you a value product that uh, will perform really, really well. I'm Noah from MRP, showing off our uh, new stage fork here. This is our uh, 34 millimeter stanchion, long travel single crown fork, kind of aimed at the uh, all mountain and uh, burgeoning enduro market. Um, up to 170 travel for the 27.5 model, up to 150 travel for the 29er model. Kind of the killer app we have on this fork is a, a feature we call ramp control. So you're able to, uh, with ramp control, adjust on the fly the ending stroke spring ramp. So for particularly steep tracks, you're able to dial this up so you have a little bit of travel left over when you're going down. Um, you can set it up if you want uh, with lower air spring pressure and then dial in the ramp control so you have a nice supple Cadillac plush fork that still doesn't blow through the travel, or you can dial this back and have a really uh, linear fork if you want. So, a lot of adjustability. Um, about four and a half pounds for this fork, so pretty light for how strong it is. And 15 millimeter axle, um, compression adjustment. Uh, yeah. Duncan Riffle with SRAM, here to uh, give you a little rundown on the Pike and why it's so awesome. Um, it not only won the Enduro World Series championship with Jerome Clements last year, I guess he won it, but the Pike definitely helped. It's got the all new Charger Damper, which we believe has really set a new standard in uh, fork technology with um, the enclosed bladder design that allows or doesn't allow air to get into mix with the oil. So 
basically creates a supple, awesome ride the entire way down and uh, it doesn't become rigid or heated or fatigued over time. Um, we've got an all new chassis. It's available in 140, 150 or 160. So you can really suit this fork to pretty much a multitude of uh, trail bikes and really suits a lot of riders from, you know, like heavy cross country all the way to real heavy trail riding. So we believe we uh, have quite a winner over here.